wizard. I'm going to show this by way of example, but first I want to highlight one very important feature, which is the application generation options dialog, which you access in the application wizard through the options button. The application generation options dialog has over 200 different options that govern how your application is generated. They're divided into three broad groups. The first of those are new application creation options, which take effect each time you create a new application. New page options govern all of the functionality that appears in your generated pages. In fact, many people will come back to the application wizard several different times to create different sets of pages with different sets of features turned on. For example, you might have in our order entry system a set of order pages that are used by your customer service team that have all the bells and whistles. They can edit and delete orders that have already been placed. But a similar set of pages for your actual end user customers may have a more limited set of options where they are not permitted to change or delete orders once they've been placed. The final set of options, the general application options, take immediate effect and tend to be options that control how different types of controls and features behave in your generated application. Now let's jump into Ironspeed Designer and see the application wizard in action. This is what Ironspeed Designer looks like when you start it up. I'll just quickly draw your attention to the coming attractions list over on the right-hand side. This is a chronologically listed set of upcoming events. So give it a quick scan. You'll find all sorts of uh, interesting uh, opportunities to learn more about Iron Speed Designer. For example, right now we're attending uh, uh, the, the uh, Getting Started with Iron Speed Designer class. You can see that we have um, uh, individual topics here, fundamentals classes, and so forth. So do take advantage of those. I'm going to click the Build Application button to get started. That displays my application wizard. Clicking Next, we select a page style. There are over 29 different page styles to choose from in Iron Speed Designer. And as you can scroll through, you can see all of the different page styles. I'm going to select the McKinley page style, which is kind of my current favorite one. And we'll click Next to move ahead to the database server step. Iron Speed Designer supports four different databases, Microsoft Access and SQL Server, MySQL, and Oracle. I'm going to select the Southwind Microsoft Access database that's installed with Iron Speed Designer. That way you can repeat any of these examples at home at your leisure. Clicking Next, we move on to the Pages step. On the left are all the different page types that we have, 26 in total. You can see basic table pages, editable tables, tables within tables, record tables, individual uh, record panels. Here you can see, for example, the master detail style page. Workflow pages, which are great for implementing business processes. Reporting pages, which as the name implies, are designed to be used as management reports. Emailable pages, which again, as the name implies, is designed to be used to send out as part of a business process or workflow. And finally, printable pages, which are used to uh, print out content. They don't have the extra navigation uh, facilities that make no sense in a printed format. I'm going to select the nine defaults. And now we'll go over to the right side, and I'm going to select the 10 tables that are in the underlying Southwind database. So all in all, I'm going to generate nine different page types for 10 different tables, or 90 pages in total. I'll click Next, and we'll move on to the key step. Iron Speed Designer will scan our database and see if we have any selected tables or views that lack primary or foreign keys. It's not found any, so I'm going to move next to the Languages step. Iron Speed Designer automatically generates multilingual applications. I'm going to select several. And the languages that I pick will appear in the upper right toolbar as a set of languages that the user can switch from dynamically at runtime. When he switches, for example, from English to German, let's say, 
then the application will immediately switch into German, or at least the application, not the underlying data, of course, because that's what's ever in the database, but the application will switch into German. And then finally, we pick our application settings. We give our application a name, decide what type of application we want to generate, uh, the code language, and various other options, and we're set to go. So as you can see, we're going to generate 90 different page types here. You can expand and see what they are going to be. I'm going to click the Finish button to get started. At this point, Iron Speed Designer is going to generate our complete N-tier web application. In particular, it's going to generate those 90 ASPX pages, plus a handful of other helper pages. It'll generate a set of code behind files, essentially two classes, a page class and a controls class for each different database table and view that you selected. It'll select a or generate a business layer, which is initially empty. That's a set of classes where you would put any code customization logic as necessary that you might have. And then it'll generate a data access layer consisting of three files, three classes, for each table and view selected. Now, if you happen to have selected stored procedures and your underlying database supports stored procedures, then Iron Speed Designer will generate a suite of eight different stored procedures for each table and view that you had selected. Iron Speed Designer will install those stored procedures into your database so that they can be used in your uh, development or testing environments. Finally, after it generates all of those files, it then calls upon the .NET Framework compiler, which is either VBC or CSC, to compile and run your application in a web browser. So at this point, we're simply waiting on .NET to compile and display our application in the browser. Sometimes I think uh, if we could, we should display the uh, Final Jeopardy theme song while waiting for .NET to catch up with us. It's not necessarily the zippiest uh, framework. And there we have it, our generated application. As you can see, it's a fully functional application ready to go. I'm not really going to go into any of the details of the application that's generated. I'll leave that to you as an exercise uh, to explore on your own. But suffice it to say, it's quite sophisticated. Back to Iron Speed Designer, we'll dismiss the application wizard, and we'll be placed in Live Preview. Live Preview is a web browser that's built into Iron Speed Designer. You can see that we're in Live Preview mode here, and it displays the exact same application that we just saw running in our browser. The advantage of Live Preview mode is that you don't have to exit Iron Speed Designer and run your application in a separate browser in order to see it. You can simply work in Iron Speed Designer and always flip into Live Preview mode at any time to see your application. You can uh, either navigate to the application explorer. Uh, over here just by clicking around, uh, or you can navigate from page to page actually using the application. So for example, if we click on this link, we can go from page to page, uh, or if we uh, use the pull-down menus, we can also go from page to page uh, as well.